so guys welcome back to another video and uh, in this video let's talk about uh, drawing routes inside your flutter applications i mean drawing routes in google maps inside your flutter applications guys uh, we have already seen how to place markers on uh, google maps and uh, we also saw how to bring in a google map inside your flutter application we also saw how to do uh, i mean how to move uh, over uh, from one marker to another on a google map uh, with a very cool animation and all that in our previous videos right so a lot of people have been asking me to do a video on uh, how to uh, draw a specific route from one point to another inside a flutter application inside a in, on a google map inside a flutter application so i thought i'll uh, do it in this video in this particular video so yeah let's get started guys first i'll try to bring in a flutter map inside this particular application i've already gone ahead and installed a couple of packages this google maps flutter and google map polyline these two are the uh, packages that we are going to be using to uh, uh, draw the routes first let me uh, it's raining outside guys that's why this noise anyway uh, first let me uh, bring in the google map inside the application Fine. Uh, this is nothing new guys. We have already seen this in our previous video as I mentioned before. And uh, don't forget to uh, add your map key inside Android manifest.xml file as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, now that we have this, let's just run this app on our mobile device and see whether we could see the map in the Flutter application. Alright guys, now we have uh, the map loaded here, right? We have it loaded exactly on Brooklyn. Fine. Now, how exactly are we going to draw routes on this specific map? We are going to be making use of something called polylines. Polylines are nothing but lines drawn on the map, map layer. Okay. So, uh, for that, we are going to be making use of a package called Google uh, Map Polyline. This package, which I'll show you. This package. Cool. This package allows us to draw uh, lines on the map. So uh, in order to draw lines on the map, what do we need? We need polyline points. We need something called polyline points that will uh, show us the route between uh, two particular coordinates on the map, right? So uh, 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 let's go ahead and write some code uh, and I'll show you guys how exactly to use that uh, package to make our work a lot easier. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to get a set exactly like we had in markers we'll be making use of fine uh, and we'll also have a uh, list of latitude longitude coordinates then we need a google map uh, polyline this is the actual polyline Google map polyline equals new Google map fine uh, 
uh, give your key here one more thing i i wanted to say here is uh, you need to be making use of the you need to enable the directions api guys directions api in maps sdk for android uh, if you are using ios you also need to enable maps sdk for ios as well without the directions api uh, this thing won't work okay direction api also costs it's not for free right so you need to obviously add a billing account and then you need to enable this directions api in order to get uh, this thing working on uh, your google maps in order to draw polylines using polyline points on your google maps okay so uh, now that i got that out of the way fine after this uh, let's go ahead and simply uh, draw the line between a couple of points in order to do that uh, let me have a function first for that the function would be uh, get some points okay and what i'll be doing is i'll uh, use the root chords list equals await uh, google map polyline get coordinates with address would uh, draw ma uh, draw uh, route between two specific addresses whereas location here we need to give sp uh, two specific uh, latitude and longitude coordinates okay so first i will show this one uh, get, uh, origin sorry origin this would be uh, lat we will just make use of the same latitude and longitude coordinate that we used here this one fine and uh, destination destination this i will simply space select something from here uh, what shall we do uh, this uh, bushwick is there right let's make a route for this uh, uh, bushwick avenue okay so let me get the coordinates guys give me a minute fine uh, the next thing i'll do is mode uh, uh, root mode dot drive fine now we have a function for getting the points we haven't yet plotted the line we are just getting the points and then adding it to the we are adding the list of latitude and longitude coordinates to this particular set okay not a set this is a list now uh, we need to uh, add that as a polyline to this particular map right so in order to do that once the map is created let's go ahead and uh, first of all we need to call this we need to make use we need to make a function call right so i'll write an int state method and inside that i'll simply do get some what was it get some uh, points i think Yeah, get some points. Fine. Uh, and after this, we have created a polyline in the beginning, right? So we'll just make use of that polyline. I think we had a set right? polyline dot add uh, poly uh, line and uh, sorry. polyline and inside this i'll simply do polyline id uh, polyline id root one fine and uh, after this i'll give visible visibility visible true and uh, uh, points should be obviously the coordinates that we root chords right something like that root chords and uh, what else uh, width we need to specify width of the uh, stroke for and color we can specify as color is dot blue fine and uh, what else do we need uh, there is something called a start cap and end cap guys that is how the uh, root should start and how the root should end there are three different things cap dot 
you give there are three different set yeah but cap round cap and uh, square cap we'll use a round cap and for end cap we'll use a butt cap maybe cap dot butt cap fine we have added this polyline as soon as the map is created right now all we need to do is specify this inside here so that we can wait i'll show you uh you remember how we did for marker right exactly that that's exactly what we are going to do here as well polylines uh, uh we already ha have it in the set right so i can simply do poly line. so uh we have given it here let's just save this it obviously won't uh, even if it hot reloads we, we won't be able to see it we need to hot restart the application let me just do that uh, sorry guys i forgot to mention a specific thing here that is uh, before trying to use the directions api you need to uh, request permission for using the location of that particular uh, mobile device right so uh, we need to check if the location is enabled and we also need to get permission from the uh, user to access and use that particular uh, uh, device location so what we need to do is fortunately there is for flutter there is a package for that it's called permission let's go ahead and install that you also need to uh, use i mean give this permission access find location this permission in the uh, android manifest.xml as well i have already included that uh, next thing we need to do is once this package is fetched for us we already have what Fine, uh, you understand what's happening here, right? I'm simply uh, checking the status of the uh, permission location, I mean location permissions. If it's granted, then I'm simply uh, using this to uh, get the coordinates at location. If it's not granted, then obviously I'm uh, going to request for that permission. That's it. Now let's run this on the mobile device and see whether this goes well. All right, guys, now you can see that, uh, sorry. Now you can see that uh, route has been drawn between uh, those two points right the Bushwick Avenue that we just uh, gave this coordinates these coordinates I got it from Google for Bushwick and uh, this is the original coordinate for uh, Brooklyn so uh, now you can see that you can clearly see that a path has been drawn right a polyline has been drawn following an exact route uh, that would be suggested uh, in case if you choose driving there is also two other modes called walking uh, I mean walking and uh, bicycling but this is the route that was suggested to us for uh, driving. So yeah, this is one way of uh, drawing a route between uh, two particular uh, latitude, longitude coordinates inside your Flutter applications. Let me show you just one other way, which is nothing but uh, drawing a route between two different addresses. Okay, two sets of addresses. So for that, let us just write one more function, get uh, address points async uh, uh, root cohorts equals await uh, google map poly line dot uh, get coordinates polyline coordinates with address and uh, here once again origin uh, I have a specific address here. Uh, 
and then for the second address I just uh, used uh, Peter Luger Steakhouse address Steakhouse address sorry all right guys now you can see that uh, path has been drawn from uh, a start coordinate that is the Brooklyn address to the Peter Luger Steakhouse Steakhouse sorry Steakhouse uh, address that I found on the internet as well right so yeah this is how you draw a route between an address a specific address and uh, I mean a route between a couple of addresses that's it uh, now I have just shown you how to draw a polyline uh, how to retrieve polyline core points uh, uh, in the form of latitude longitude coordinates and then how to draw a polyline from one particular coordinate to the other coordinate as a route right and uh, that's exactly what we have seen in this video there are a lot of other stuff as well you can draw the line as patterns you can also uh, if you use something like Firebase, you can uh, update this route in real time, uh, making it look like uh, as if the user is moving through that particular route. That is, you might have seen in these uh, cab applications, taxi applications or uh, food delivery or some grocery delivery applications, right? It will show as if the delivery guy is moving uh, through that particular route towards your location. You can do that. Uh, you can do such effects if you use something like Firebase uh, to provide real time updates to the uh, coordinates uh, rather than making this into a lengthy video I thought I'll first introduce I mean I'll first show you how to bring in uh, how to use polylines to draw routes between two specific uh, points or two specific addresses on the flutter uh, on the Google map inside your flutter applications and then I'll make another uh, video where I show you how to build a small application that will automatically update the uh, route in real time uh, hit like on this, hit thumbs up on this video and uh, leave a comment if you would like to see something uh, like that in the upcoming video. Uh, yeah guys, this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys uh, in this video. We have seen how to uh, use polylines to draw a specific route between two latitude and longitude coordinates or two specific addresses on the Google map inside your Flutter applications. If you uh, like what I'm doing on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel guys, it's free and uh, kindly hit the thumbs up button uh, in this particular video. Uh, also kindly watch my previous video on Google Maps and cool effects. Uh, in that I have covered pretty much the basics of bringing maps and uh, also I have covered markers as well in that particular video. So yeah guys, uh, hit the thumbs up button and uh, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.